Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Van Orn and this is another Dragonair Silent Scott video. Guys, today when you're logging into the game, you're gonna have an announcement for the maintenance of the uh, start for season four. And so there is a long post letter from the developers where explain everything that is coming into the game when season four will start and shows you the change that's been done to the dungeon, to the champions, to the gear, everything we've gone on on videos previously. But there is something I want to talk about in particular, which is the first part of the letter over here. You can see that uh, the front runner servers, which are the one that start basically from season one launch, um, which is one of the server I'm on, which are the one at the front, obviously, are going to merge from six server down to three. And um, although I don't know if this means that the server are increasing in capacity, this also shows that the player base is, to, to me at least, it's shrinking and it keeps shrinking. Obviously the merge are necessary to keep the game running, but with three server left starting season four, this means potentially that in season five, we're gonna all merge on one server. We can be all the players and um, a good number of them for sure, which we're gonna bring some other issues with ranking and rewards on the leaderboard, but that is for a separate discussion. Today, I just want to focus about the fact that once we're gonna be all on one server, there is no more uh, player refilling. We can't merge with anything else unless we wait the server that are behind us to merge with them and pick up with us um, the storyline. This exposed to me an old problem we all discussed for many, many times before and it's still there. It's still not being sort sorted. There's nothing that hints to us that they have intention to sort this problem. Beside us talking to them many, many, many times about this issue from season one end all the way to now. And it's kind of surprising because I want to draw some parallel of what is happening in other games and what are the response that Dragonair is giving to those chains to other games in terms of comments. Because I was watching a video yesterday from Fateless, the uh, gaming developing studio that HH from HH Gaming and Dragonair content creator, you for sure know, um, it was basically showing a video about how they had to go back and rethink part of the structure of the game that was the base for this game playing and they had to rethink it because they kind of hit the wall. They realized that it was not the direction that they had, they had basically wanted for the game and so they scratched almost six months of game developing in that um, particular subject to go back to the board and redesign it. Go watch the video when you're done with this one. What they're doing is really, really interesting. But nevertheless, I was scrolling down into the comments and I found a comment from Dragonair social media. I was congratulating them for the courageous decision of changing such a big part of the game. And then I was thinking, well, why you kind of not do the same? We, you are in the same situation where you decided to go down with the seasonal structure. You decided to split player on server and keep seasons separate. So the player base, it's boxed in so many little boxes spread around that you kind of cause yourself the same kind of issue. But you're not communicating about that. You're not coming out and saying, yeah, we saw that that might be an issue. And we decided to go back on the board. So you're congratulating others for the courageous decision, but you're not taking any on it. And more so, what is, uh, for me, more frustrating with this company, which, by the way, it's a small company. It's a small indie company. It's the only game they develop very much like Fateless, I, was, I will imagine. Fateless is just born to develop this game and SGRA only developed Dragonair. So maybe we can see some parallel and um, we're not comparing a massive company to a small one. But why it's more frustrating is the fact that they don't communicate in a constructive way. They're not creating hype around what they're doing. They're not coming out and saying, yeah, we recognize as an issue. We have some idea in mind we're working on. 
There's none of that or almost none of that happening. Um, something similar is happening in Raid. Um, it's a game I used to play where there is um, Hydra Clash, basically, and it's been broken since the beginning because there are some champions that basically can deal incredibly massive numbers in terms of damage and scoring, and if you don't have those composition, you can't really compete. Well, they do, they're going back to the drawing board as well. They came out with a letter to the content creator and the community explaining what is their line of thought and what they are thinking to do. And content creators like HH and Nutbraids and many others are making videos saying, okay, this is what they are recognizing, better later than never. This is what they're working on. This is maybe what we would like to see, but they're creating hype around the potential change that is not happening now, it's gonna happen in the future. It's just a communication to keep the community engaged. And that is what is missing most in this community in particular, in my opinion. Because we can argue about the decision, we can argue that all of us have different opinion, and we can also clearly see that the developers are trying to improve the game with all the quality of life that they bring in, but there is still a big pink elephant in the room, which is this seasonal spree, sp spread, this split between server, split between season, this fragmentation of the community that create only problems for them structurally, for us as a content creator, which can be also overlooked as a problem, who cares? But nevertheless, for the player base, because player can't play together. And there is no refilling system at the moment, and they're gonna have to take a brave decision. So the time for the brave decision is now. Time to come out and communicate and say, what you want to do with this game, it's now. You don't have to change it now, but you have to start talking now. This is everything for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as usual, if you did, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'm gonna see you soon with another video about Dragonair Silence God.